We rarely ever think of something such as oils from fish to have any significant benefit to our health. Heck, as fitness enthusiasts, we hardly even think of supplements outside of the ones that improve your gains. Perhaps we should give more attention to our health, considering that our gains are all for naught if we don't take good care of ourselves. And with such an amazing track record, fish oils certainly should be on top of your list. So what is fish oil and how does it help? The active components of fish oil are two omega-3 fatty acids, eicosapentaenoic acid, or EPA, and docosahexaenoic acid, or DHA. They cannot be made by the body, thus eating it is the only way to go, with fish oil being a top source. Fish oil's benefits for health are well documented. The most notable benefit is lowering blood triglycerides, especially for people currently dealing with high lipid profiles outside of cholesterol. There's also connections to lowering blood pressure and reducing general inflammation, and strong evidence in aiding those dealing with severe depression. There are also connections of DHA and improved memory formation, and protecting against retinal angiogenesis, which improves your eye health. There are also dabs of evidence suggesting improved bone health and reduced diabetes. Overall, the health benefits are quite miraculous to say the least. Many believe the most important factor for taking fish oil is to lower omega-6 to omega-3 ratios. It's been shown that when omega-6 levels are abundantly higher than omega-3s, which is the case for most Western populations, there tend to be a slew of adverse effects ranging from asthma to cancer. The ultimate aim is to achieve a 1 to 1 ratio. Unfortunately, most Western diets have ratios of 15 to 1 or worse. To counteract this, a good starting point on how much you should take is 250 milligrams of EPA and DHA combined. A more optimal amount is roughly 1 gram of EPA and 500 milligrams of DHA. Some of the best fish sources with the least contaminants are non-predatory and non-bottom feeding fish such as mackerels, cods, or sardines. And yes, it can also be obtained through non-fish sources such as flax seeds and walnuts, but bear in mind you will need to consume much higher amounts to reach the recommended EPA and DHA levels. As great as all the health benefits might be, you probably still have one more question. Can fish oil help with your gains? Sorry bros, but this one is pretty much a blank. Even though there are some indication that fish oil can suppress downstream regulators of the muscle inhibiting myostatin, there's no study that guarantees it. There is some research that suggests fish oil can help with muscle soreness, but only in much higher doses than usually recommended. Same goes for weight loss, where only rat studies saw results, but at doses that are extremely impractical for human consumption. And the only human trials noted minimal effects for only lean individuals or those on a calorie restricted diet, which is a given to begin with. Performance improvements are also lackluster, with no significant influence of VO2 max nor strength outputs. But the lack of fitness improvements shouldn't scare you from taking fish oil. There's just too much on the line in terms of health that you are leaving on the table if you choose not to get enough of your omega-3 fatty acids. Keep your health in check so you can keep your gains on deck. Support PictureFit and get a hold of your own snazzy PictureFit t-shirt or tank top by clicking the link in the description. In fact, that link will give you 20% off your entire purchase for a limited time. For those of you that already have PictureFit apparel, come share it with me on my Instagram account, at PictureFit, of you rocking that tee and I will love you for life. As always, thanks for watching.